Hello and welcome. Today I would like to talk to you about the Rome Project, a deep end telecom data layer that uses open roaming technology to build a decentralized network. I was sent one of these devices. It's a router, hotspot, miner, and a plethora of other Web3 potential that this router offers. Now I've been testing it for a couple weeks, gathering information, overwhelmed at times, but I like what I see and I like it enough to be able to share some of that information with you now. And one of the reasons for that is that it's still very early stages of development. And what that means to me is that there's max reward still able to be earned getting involved with this project. Once again, there's also the risk, but hey, this is crypto. I'm sure you're already familiar with that. Now, one of the cool benefits about the Rome network is that you could actually earn rewards just utilizing their app. And of course, you could maximize more of those rewards if you do pick up one of their routers in order to help build out the network and provide that coverage. So what exactly is the Rome network? Well, the Rome network is a decentralized blockchain powered initiative that integrates Wi-Fi connectivity with Web3 technologies. It aims to create a seamless global roaming experience by uniting public Wi-Fi hotspots worldwide. So it's not just national, this is worldwide. Users can connect and earn rewards through interactions such as checking in and contributing to the network expansion. And the way to contribute to the network expansion is of course by picking up one of these routers, installing it in your network and providing that roam coverage to would-be users in your local area. The network leverages technologies like open roaming to offer passwordless and automatic connections, focusing on secure encrypted data transfers and privacy. It incentivizes user participation through roam points, which can be redeemed for various rewards or converted into roam tokens. Rome's decentralized design encourages community ownership and sustainable network growth. Another benefit is that it's very easy to set up and configure to your existing network. There are step-by-step -step instructions on the site and you can always get help via their Discord and Telegram. Keep in mind that I'll place a bunch of links in the description, so be sure to check that out once you're done watching the video and you'll be able to get more pinpoint information from those specific locations. Now, I spend a lot of time in Europe visiting family and when I'm at my base location, I have nice, strong Wi-Fi, internet connection, no issue at all. But now when I do venture out of the home and go to other locations, the Wi-Fi is quite the opposite. Now, one of the things that we do is we bounce around from cafe to restaurant and other public type places, borrowing their Wi-Fi. But usually that results in super slow Wi-Fi because they're not incentivized to provide you with more bandwidth. They want to use that internally, right? And then there is the, what is the SSID? What is the password? You're going to have to speak to somebody in the staff wait for them to not be busy so that you can go ahead and get some of that Wi-Fi. Well, what's cool about this Rome network is that it is seamless. So just by connecting to the Rome network, any other place that these hotspots are available. So by now having users connect to the Rome network, you will have that seamless, no password needed experience just by logging into the app and selecting the Rome network. Now, to me, that's something that's definitely useful and everyday people not just crypto world people will be able to seamlessly integrate into the network utilizing it because it's something that they want it's something that they need it's wi-fi now the other cool thing that roam offers are e-sims so now let's say i am in europe and i'm in some location and i'm not getting the wi-fi or the mobile data experience that i'm looking for for whatever the case may be especially in more rural areas I'm able to go ahead and utilize Rome's eSIM at relatively inexpensive prices to be able to now get that mobile coverage and that mobile data while I'm doing what I do while in Europe. Now they are in over a hundred countries right now from what I read. So it's not just Europe. This is definitely worldwide. Another aspect that I'll show you a little bit later is that you're able to earn free credits in order to utilize the eSIM. So technically, you could utilize this eSIM and have all of this extra data for free just by utilizing the app, checking in and fulfilling certain quests, a bunch of different stuff that I'll go into a little bit later. Now, all of those use cases are pretty cool and were more than enough just to pique my curiosity to begin with. 
But then as I delved more into the Roam network, I see all of these other Web3 capabilities that it also offers by having a router like this one that's right in front of you, which this one is actually the Max 60. So not only are you gonna be able to get a bunch of use out of the router itself, but there's gonna be more and more options in order for you to earn these Roam rewards. So let's get into a bit of the underlying technology. And I could get this right from their website. And I think it's important enough for me to read it to you, but I'm not gonna sit here and uh, act like I'm audible.com. But for the purpose of this little section, I wanna go ahead and read it straight from their website. So underlying technology. Rome's underlying technology consists of open roaming protocols and enterprise grade components created to deliver exceptional performance, security, and seamless interactions across our system. And how do they do that? There is open roaming. Users roam seamlessly between Rome Wi-Fi access points hosted by different operators and organizations without ever facing a login screen after initial connection. That is a big deal. I already gave you my little cafe experience as an example. Next, we have the ID plus VC protocol. Rome's on-chain user authentication for Wi-Fi connections employs decentralized identifiers or DIDs and verifiable credentials VCs, enabling new mining opportunities as well as privacy protection. Now, I don't know about you, but privacy protection is definitely heading that list for me, especially in today's day and age. We're connecting to our personal networks is part of the process. And then we have Wi-Fi Enterprise. Enterprise level public Wi-Fi is finally here. Roam Wi-Fi delivers levels of security and performance typically offered only in large corporate environments. As we pan down, you have the power of Roam network. And you can see here the points that have been issued so far. You have 140 plus countries. Uh, downloads, as you can tell, you're almost at 900,000 as far as downloading the app. And Wi-Fi spots are at 789,000 plus. As you can tell, they have a plethora of partners and partners that most of us recognize just by looking at their logo and reading their name. So as you can tell, Rome has a great deal of credibility, even though you might not yet have heard of them. So as you can tell, we're still in the early stages of this Roam network. I'm still learning, I'm still gathering information, picking up some new information from their Discord and their Telegram pretty much on a daily basis. And what I will do is as I continue to gather information and of course, as it gets closer to that token generating event, I'll go ahead and give you an update or provide several updates, once again, depending on if they're needed or not to the Roam network. So be sure to subscribe, like, comment all the good stuff so I could go ahead and keep producing this content for you. I wanted to go ahead and give you a brief overview on the app itself. So here I am logged in. Once you do set up your profile, so you can tell up on top here, there's different advertisement and news events, such as Rome being on Solana, in case you didn't know, and other stuff that's currently going on in order to earn more rewards by participating in events. Then there are my points. You can tell my point balance here. Now keep in mind that I did receive 3,000 points just by activating my router on my network. So that is where the majority of my rewards have come from so far. And then of course, by checking in with certain Wi-Fi's and accomplishing some of the quests, as you could tell here, there are my quests and you could go ahead and go through them in order to earn extra rewards. One of the ones that I want you to pay attention to is referral code. Now, if you were to use my referral code when you do set up your app, which is 211-66790, on your first Wi-Fi check-in, you will earn 30 points and I will earn 30 points. So be sure to use that referral code when you are setting up your app. As we go back here, as I mentioned, there's the quest screen that we were just on. There are events, uh, past events, and anything that is going on currently uh, that you can go ahead and participate in to earn extra rewards. And then as you can tell here, I am connected to Wi-Fi. I will earn rewards by checking in. There is a detailed map that'll show you different Wi-Fi hotspots that are around the area that are on the Rome network as well as a running tally here on the bottom featuring more specs and metrics on the Rome network itself. Up on top, we have the My Miner. So once you do have your miner or multiple miners connected, you can go in here and, and get information on your specific miner. 
And then, as I mentioned, there is the eSIM. When you do complete certain tasks for your rewards, you can redeem them as points so that you could redeem them later on for the token, or you can redeem them as data credits for your eSIM. So technically, you can go ahead and utilize this eSIM plan for free just by being active on the Roam network. Now, there are also plans that are relatively budget friendly. And the cool thing about it is they are worldwide. So you could go ahead and look through that information, check out the prices and see the locations where it is available. So as you can tell here, Rome does have a lot going on and I expect a heck of a lot more in the future because the possibilities are already there and just waiting for you. So bottom line, if you're looking to get involved with a deep end project that's in the early stages, that definitely seems like they got it going on and something to keep a close eye on, definitely think about picking up one of these routers or at the very least download the app, get active with the app, start earning some of those rewards. And if you see that it's something that you want to continue with, then pick up that router at that time. I'll place links my affiliate link and all sorts of other stuff so if you do want to support go into the description i'll place all of those links there and as always i wish you the best